Here with Sinisa Estrada, who will be fighting Christina Fuentes on June 3rd at the Velasco Theater in downtown Los Angeles. Now, talk to us about the opponent and the event. Well, my opponent is Christina Fuentes. She's 4, 7, and 5. She's from Texas. And um, she's fought a lot of former world champions and current world champions at my weight class. And uh, she's a very durable fighter. She's, I believe she's never been stopped. She's gone the distance. She's fought Heather Hardy. She's fought um, Mariana Juarez. So, you know, she has the experience and she's a tough opponent. So I'm expecting her to be uh, very tough and put up a fight. Now, for some of the UK fight fans out there that are unaware of Sinisa Estrada, talk to us about the style that you bring to the table. Uh, my style is very unique, not only, you know, for women in boxing, but also for men. Um, I'm, I, I can counter punch, I can find the inside. My style is very uh, different and I can adjust to the style that my opponent has to bring, which is a good thing about me. You know, I'm not just one dimensional. I can, I'm able to adjust very well to any opponent, any style. And I've seen that, that's very true. Now you fought on the Gennady Golovkin fight card twice. What was that experience um, like? I feel very blessed and very grateful to be able to be on Gennady's undercard not once but twice and it's in my hometown in LA at the forum so I was able to bring in uh, a huge crowd and able to gain a lot of fans and, and a huge following from there so it was great exposure it's exactly what um, women in boxing need they need that type of exposure and a promoter like Tom Loeffler uh, to give us a chance an opportunity to display our skills and now with that leading to me being on June 3rd with Golden Boy Promotions um, my first televised fight um, on a stay out TV and Ring TV, um, it's it's a huge opportunity for me, and it's exactly what I've been working hard for since I was eight years old. So you know, let's talk about the introduction to boxing at eight years old. Um, I first started boxing when I was eight, and before that, when I was about six or seven years old, I would watch fights with my dad. He would. Uh, I have two older brothers, so I had no choice but to watch wrestling, play sports, <laughs> and watch boxing. So uh, I would go over to my dad's house with my brothers, and he would he would order you know all the all the recent pay-per-view fights that were on and uh, I remember watching Sugar Ray Leonard with Roberto Duran with him because Roberto Duran is his favorite fighter so um, I, I just remember watching all those classic fights with him and when I was six and seven years old I just thought to myself like wow like it, it just made so much sense to me and it, it was something that really intrigued me and something that I knew from the moment I saw it that that's what I wanted to do. As you mentioned before the sport of boxing is very much a, a man's sport. I don't know if you ever remember the song by James Brown, It's a Man's World. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever feel that it's very much a man's world in the sweet science? It is, it is. And it's not just women's boxing in general. It's mostly all sports. It's dominated by men. And um, in order to get the exposure, um, get the exposure that we need, um, yeah, box, boxing is pretty much dominated by men, and it's not just boxing, it's all sports in general. Like, men are the ones who are watching sports the most, it's not women, it's men. So, to be able to get the attention of men, you have to really stand out, and you have to really be unique and be different. You can't just fight like every other female fighter out there, you have to have that something that, you know, gets men to want to watch you and get their attention. Exactly. Now, share with us the experience as an amateur because I believe you were 97 and 4 as an amateur. Talk to us about some of the accomplishments. Um, yeah, I had 97 wins and 4 losses in the amateurs. I um, won the Junior Olympic Nationals twice, Outstanding Fighter, Silver Gloves, Silver Glove Nationals, Golden Gloves multiple times, um, 2009 USA National Champion, and uh, just about every, every national and junior national tournament there was to win out there so my amateur experience is, is very huge and that helped me really carry on to the pros and helped me to be able to adjust to different styles. Now I remember uh, about a year and a half ago a pound for pound fighter walked up onto the podium by the name of Roy Jones Jr. and fiercely spoke of your talent and not only said that you were the best prospect in boxing and in, in women's boxing but in all of boxing i mean the guy was just telling uh, speaking to fans how talented and how warranted you are to have the all the accolades that you have received over the years what was it like because roy jones jr is by far your favorite fighter i know this right yeah it was I was lost for words and it was very unexpected and um, man it's just 
I can't I can't really explain the feeling like it's I, I idolized him growing up I used to watch his fights all the time I, I still watch his fights to this day and study every little thing that he does which is why our styles are pretty similar and he understands how I fight he understands uh, my game plans when I'm fighting bigger opponents or you know opponents that are heavier he understands he, without even knowing the game plan, he already knows the game plan just by watching me in the first round. So, you know, um, it's great to have someone as, as great as Roy Jones Jr. You know, recognize my talent, and I'm thankful that you know he he recognized me and he put my name out there, and it, it really helped me a lot. So I'm thankful for that. Without a doubt, he acknowledged the fact that you are by far one of the favorites out there as far as when it comes to being one of the top prospects in boxing. You also like fighters such as Donald Curry and uh, Sugar Ray Leonard. Yeah, I love uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, Roy Jones Jr., Donald Curry, um, Salvador Sanchez, uh, Roberto Duran. Those are all my favorite fighters. I just... I there's no fighters like them today and they're just amazing i love to it's, it's defense offense it's um you know heart and passion just, they just have it all and do you try to emulate that <laughs> in your game plan I do, I do i try to emulate uh sugar Ray leonard roy jones all the time watch donald curry fights and Roy duran fights all the time so i grew up watching those fights and and i i definitely try to mimic their style and how soon do you want that world title shot um you know what it's, it's tough to answer that question because, of course, you know, everybody wants to win a world title. But at the same time, there's much more to be done in women's boxing before even fighting for a world title, such as, you know, getting the exposure. Because I can, I can fight for a world title right now. I could have fought for one when I was 4-0 or 3-0, mm -hmm. but nobody would know who I am, you know? Exactly. So it makes no sense and it doesn't, it won't really mean anything. So um, I'm on the right path right now as far as the way my career is moving. So as long as I keep, keep winning, keep building my record, uh, keep building that following, then, you know, a world title will come soon. Let's talk about an exciting fight taking place in July in New York. You grew up, I believe, with Leo Santa Cruz. He'll be fighting yes. Carl Frampton. What are your thoughts on that fight, and who do you have winning? I think that's a great fight. Um, tough, very tough and uh, good fight for Leo stepping up. Um, I believe it's going to be a good fight. Uh, I don't know, I'll take Leo just because, you know, <laughs> I know Leo, grew up with Leo, and also uh, Sergio Mora, who's my stable mate, will be fighting on the other card as well, rematch against Jacobs. So I'm looking forward to that, and uh, Sergio Mora all the way, of course. You know, for some of the five fans that uh, don't know, you grew up with Joseph Diaz, Frankie Gomez, you knew Julian Ramirez, Abraham Lopez. You knew all these guys because you guys all started at, at the same time, Leo Santa Cruz. What are some of the other fighters out there that... I don't know you that you knew. <laughs> oh man, just about honestly just about every every prospect out there that's you know that we're 24, 25, 23, we're all about the same age. Right. So um, just about every young prospect right now that you can think of, we all grew up in the amateurs together. They were my sparring partners growing up, Frankie Gomez, Joseph Diaz, and uh, uh, there was not too many girls to spar with uh, when I first started, like at all. So them. I was sparring with them <laughs> and uh, you know, I'm grateful because it made me the fighter that I am today because they're tough guys and they, you know, kick my ass some days and made me the fighter that I am today, so. Your fight will be taking place on June 3rd at the Belasco Theater, live on ringtvlive.com. Check it out. But the very next day at the Stub Hub, we have Francisco Vargas versus Orlando Salido. But the co-main event will feature Julian Ramirez versus Abraham Lopez. Who do you have winning that fight? Because you both... I mean, you know both guys since you guys were kids. I know both guys, and uh, they're both hard? tough fighters. It's, it's going to be a really good fight. Like honestly, everybody who who knows them, and you know everybody who's local from LA, we we always grew up watching them, seeing them spar. Um, they both spar my stablemate, uh, Xavier Montelongo. So um, they're they're both very tough. You know, they're, Julian's just another tough version of Abraham, but left-handed. So it's right. going to be a very good fight, and. Um, I'm just expecting to be a war, and I wish them both the best. It's going to be great. You don't have a winner? No. No? <laughs> Any final words where they can follow you on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook? Yeah, you can follow me on Instagram at Sinisa underscore Estrada and Twitter at Sinisa underscore Estrada or my Facebook fan page, Sinisa Estrada. Thank you, Sinisa. Always a pleasure. Thank you.